So you're heading home with your new furry four-legged friend. One of the first things you're going to have to think about is how you're going to walk them. All dogs need their exercise and you should aim to walk your new friend twice a day. So you'll need a collar and a lead. But buying a lead is pretty simple, just make sure you don't buy one that's too long or too short or you can find yourself in some crazy situations. Right, you've got the lead sorted, but what kind of collar do you attach it to? And this is where you do have a few choices. What method you choose really depends on two things. The first is how strong your dog is. And I can assure you even the smallest dogs can be very strong when they're out on their walkies and getting excited. The second is how strong you are, or more importantly, how confident you are at controlling your dog. And this includes unexpected situations, maybe coming up against some traffic, other dogs, or maybe a cat. There are three different collars that you can choose from. A normal flat collar, a halty, or a harness. Deb is a dog walking volunteer, hello Deb, and she's brought along a few collars for us to have a look at. The first is a normal flat collar, like little Bobby here is wearing. Now if your pooch is quite obedient and you're quite confident, one of these will do the trick. Just make sure it's fitted correctly. You should be able to fit between one and three fingers between the dog's neck and the collar. If you found yourself with a bigger, stronger dog or one that's excitable, like Donald here, then a halty is the way to go. This little piece of equipment is a dog walker's dream. If you're thinking muzzle, think again. It's nothing like it. Donald can still bark in one of these, he can catch a ball, he can eat his food. What it does is it stops him pulling on the lead by applying pressure across the bridge of the nose like this. Kind of like a horse wears a halter. It will give you a lot more control on the lead. But do make sure you give your dog a couple of goes as it can feel a little bit strange at first. If you found yourself with a really wriggly dog like Grace here, they may be a bit of a Houdini when it comes to a normal collar and that's when a harness like this one is great as it keeps them safe. A harness is also good for an older dog as it takes the pressure away from their neck. Whatever method you choose, be careful about allowing children under 16 years of age to walk the dog alone as some councils do have specific guidelines on this. And whatever method you choose, be it a collar, a halty or a harness, always check in with your local pet store, puppy school or vet on how to fit it and use it correctly. Happy dog walking.